Do you need a UI, a web UI, for your Ansible code? Is Ansible Tower the right answer to that question? Who's even using Ansible Tower and should you invest any of your time learning it? Let's answer those questions right now. Hey, Mike here from learndevops.com.au. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about Ansible Tower and whether or not it is popular, whether or not I see it in the industry, whether you should put your time into it. So Ansible Tower is a web UI based solution that gives you a nice interface so you can press buttons and it fires off your Ansible playbooks for you. It can manage credentials, it can manage inventories, and you can even do really nice things like you can set up complex patterns and, and workflows and things like that. So it'll run one and it'll take the result and pass it into another for you. So you press one button and it'll automatically go ahead and just run lots of lots of playbooks for you and it'll fire off and talk to lots of different things for you. Is it very popular? Is it very good? Okay, well, I'll answer the population, popular question. I don't see it that often. I have seen it for sure in the last five to six years. I've seen it at maybe two, maybe three clients and it does get used in some cases heavily and some cases not so heavily. So it's sort of a bit hit and miss really as to whether it gets implemented and then actually used. Is it good? I actually don't really like it. It's like Terraform Cloud for me. It sort of just gets in the way really, really quickly. It gets expensive. You got to pay Red Hat some uh, some of that dough. Very, very gets expensive very, very quickly. Yeah, and I don't, I don't really like it all that much because of that fact. I actually think that you should just probably go with a classic CI pipeline in GitLab CI or GitHub Actions. It's a simple shell script that does the exact same thing. Can, can, a shell script can just call multiple playbooks based on the output. can do even more, in fact. So uh, I don't know. It's not really a tool that I would personally recommend. And so I guess that leads us on very nicely to would I recommend that you spend time studying it? I would, but I would only learn how to use the interface, how to get a, a repository added to it so that you can then access the playbooks in it and how you would add credentials and how you would execute your playbooks and feed in those credentials. So that's kind of just getting an overview of the sort of standard workflows. It's sort of getting an overview of the buttons that you've got to press to get things going and just seeing a playbook fire off and maybe talk to a maybe talk to a server. I did a previous video, which I'll link in the description below on Ansible at the exact same type of video as this. And in that I challenged you to create a simple web server with Nginx and WordPress on there. If you've Go ahead and watch that video. Go back and watch that video. Press the button that goes back and then watch that video and then maybe implement that and then take that playbook and then spin up Ansible Tower and get that working in Ansible Tower. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't go any further than that. It's a relatively simple solution if you're just looking at it from a user perspective. Administrating it is a little bit more complicated, but overall, I wouldn't invest too much time in becoming a subject matter expert or anything like that. I hope that that's been useful. A very quick, short video on Ansible Tower, how I see it in the industry, what I think of it, and whether or not you should be investing your time in it. If these are the kind of videos that you like, then you know you got to do that 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 classic: hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, the bling, the little bell button, hit the like button, and of course head on down to the comments below and let me know whether or not you use Ansible Tower, or perhaps you just use a classic CI pipeline or maybe you're using something else maybe something that i'm not aware of please let me know and if you want to have a chat about any of these concepts any of these videos the youtube channel you want to talk about you want to talk to me or you just want to talk about i don't know your favorite band or something that's that's absolutely fine head on over to chat.learndevops.com.au and that will take you straight to our discord server which has a huge range of professionals and beginners from zero right through to 20 25 years worth of experience so head on over and hopefully we'll get to connect soon on the discord and i'll see you in the next video thank you very nice